Iranian organization Hamas is now taking a page out of Iran's playbook by bringing the Islamic tradition into the everyday lives of folks in Gaza. The new rules? Well, they include a strict dress code for women. How's that going over? Mike Tobin's following the story from our Mideast Bureau. Mike. Well, you know, John, when Hamas first took power, this fundamentalist group did rule the streets of Gaza with an iron fist, but made a point of leaving personal lives alone. However, now that Hamas is confident it's in control of Gaza, this group is trying to control people as well. Delegates of Hamas, all of them men, take their virtue campaign to the streets of Gaza. They are armed with posters that read in Arabic, covering up isn't enough, Women need to wear clothing loose enough to hide their figure. It's an attempt to change the bad values in society, like preventing smoking and drugs. And one of the important issues is the dress of women in public. Representatives of the religious ministry have gone around to stores that sell revealing women's clothing, the kind of thing a woman would only wear in the house, and asked them to stop displaying these goods in public. In fact, they've gone as far as to demand that all mannequins be covered in traditional Islamic dress. Hamas police patrol the beaches, ordering young men to put on their shirts, guaranteeing that women wear the full hijab, complete with headscarf, even while swimming. The virtue campaign is in contrast to the pledges of Hamas when it seized power in 2007. Keenly aware of public perception, the deeply religious Hamas vowed never to force its fundamentals on the people of Gaza. But that was two years ago. Now, the Hamas-appointed chief justice issued a decree which says Subhiya Juma and other female lawyers in Gaza must wear the headscarf and loose robes while in court. The decision violates the basic laws that ensure the individual basic freedom of the lawyers. The campaign shows that Hamas is now confident it has cemented its hold on power in Gaza. This creates the opportunity to extend its ideology into basic freedoms of the people, similar to the way its financial benefactor, Iran, controls lives in Tehran. Now, the Hamas rule in Gaza is being challenged by smaller al-Qaeda-influenced groups who don't believe that Hamas is radical enough. When faced with a threat, Hamas responds with force. The latest uprising resulted in 24 people dead, more than 100 injured. John? Mike Tobin reporting live. Mike, thank you. Some false advertising.